Salve, Cleitos! Então, como é que vocês estão? Vocês estão bem? Então, sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo desse canal aqui. E já agora, se você está vendo esse vídeo aqui de noite, boa apetite no jantar. Ou se você não jantou, vai já buscar a tua janta. Então, vai comendo enquanto... Você tá assistindo o vídeo para eu te fazer companhia na janta, tá ligado? Porque amanhã vou te fazer companhia no almoço. São dois vídeos por dia, à tarde e à noite. Então, como é que vocês estão, seus Cleitos? Caso você não for um Cleiton, torne-se já um Cleitos. Então, Cleitons são pessoas que estão assistindo aqui nesse canal, são pessoas que deixam like nos vídeos, são pessoas que recomendam o conteúdo para assistir aqui. E se você tem um vídeo para recomendar, comenta aqui. Então, no vídeo de hoje, nós vamos ouvir a história da americana que foi para um hospital público brasileiro. Então, nós vamos ver qual foi a experiência dela aí. Talvez aprender alguma coisa. Então comente aqui se vocês são pessoas que estão constantemente aí para o hospital público. E também não esqueça de contar as vossas experiências. Não importa se são boas ou ruins. Então não esqueça de deixar like no vídeo porque senão você pode esquecer. E vocês já sabem como é que esse canal é. Esse canal aqui é o único, mas o único canal mesmo do YouTube. Que é sem mais. Que, 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 que. 3, 2, 1. E... O dia em que eu fui parar no hospital no Brasil. Oh. Oi, tudo bem com vocês? Sim, estamos bem. Espero que vocês estejam indo bem. Today's video will be about me going to the hospital in Brasil. Hum, conta aí. Quite an experience to say the least. Um, so it was in December. Whoa. Uh, it was actually New Year's Eve. And I started feeling terrible in the middle of the night. And I started, I'm so sorry for saying this. I started vomiting and having diarrhea and like, <laughs> all this nastiness stuff. And it was awful. And I felt completely awful. Whoa. And I think like me, I have a really low pain tolerance. So like that really plays an issue <laughs> into this whole story. Como será, tipo, assim, você também é um tipo de pessoa que tem tolerância à dor, porque assim, eu também tenho, e muita mesmo. Tipo, eu não consigo, tipo assim, me ferir, ou fazer coisas que façam com que eu sinta muita dor. Então, eu não curto muito apanhar injeção, mas eu não faço escândalo, eu fico de boa, tipo, tô de boa, tipo... Pá, mas por dentro eu tô a me matar. Um, so it started New Year's Eve, early in the morning, like 4 a.m. That my symptoms were happening, um, and I, I just like was feeling body aches. I was, I couldn't walk, I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. Like I literally couldn't do anything. And so then uh, I was like, Vinny. Like, I don't, I don't want to ruin your day. Like, you <laughs> each day with your family. Like, I want you to spend time with them. Um, and I don't want this to, like, distract anything. And so he went down to the beach with his family. And I was still feeling, like, poop. Olha, nunca faça o que ele fez. Tipo assim, o, o que o namorado dela fez nesse caso, né? Quando alguém do vosso lado diz assim, ah, não, olha... Não precisa, olha, você pode ir, eu vou ficar aqui, vou ficar bem. Não aceitam, não aceitam, porque assim, as coisas podem piorar muito. E é só assim, do nada as coisas podem piorar. Então, o que ele fez, não, não foi muito bom, não foi muito bom. Ele não devia ter aceitado isso. Vixe time with them um and i don't want this to like distract anything and so he went down to the beach with his family and i was still feeling like poop literal poop and i ended up like calling him an hour later i had to call his mom's phone i just remember that i was like babe can you come here right now and i just remember i was crying <laughs> because i'm a crier and i like to cry sometimes 
and I just started crying. She was like, okay, I'm coming up right now. And I was just like, I need a hug. Like, I literally called him up so I get it. Because I, I was, like, feeling lonely. And I had called my parents, and both of them didn't answer. So I was, like, feeling even more sad. So then, like, my symptoms kept happening. And his aunt gave me, like, a Dramamine, which we thought would help. Like, maybe help, like, maybe help me sleep. Like, calm down the vomiting and, like, all that stuff. Because I just, like, don't normally vomit. Like, I don't do it, stuff like that a lot the day before we did eat a lot of like different food um i did have like food on the beach which i'll like insert a picture here to show you i think it was like fish fried fish and then like i also had um a lunch i think they call it lunch it's just like a no lunch kind of thing um let the bubbles here ice cubes which you're not supposed to eat ice cubes there because it's like can hurt your stomach really badly which probably happened um, so then we ended up deciding that I should probably go to the hospital and get an IV, which like all of us decided as a group, like even though it was New Year's Eve, we were hoping I would get in and out like in under four hours. His dad, uh, Vinny and I, um, we all went to the hospital. So we had to sign out my name and we waited in the, like the lobby for like an so hour. One. Just, there was a bunch of people there. We just waited for my name to be called. O que é saguão? Será que é tipo a sala de espera ou uma coisa assim? And then my name was called and Vinny was able to come with me through everything. Thank you, Jesus. Because I don't speak Portuguese. So finally my name was called after like an hour. And Vinny came with me and the nurse did all my measurements, like all that stuff. And then we had to wait another time, which I don't remember how long the time was. But then... Um, it was probably like maybe 30, 45 minutes. I went back to the, like where the doctor would be. And then I had to wait again before the doctors in like a little tinier waiting room. Um, and then that was probably another 45 minutes, which was awful waiting because I was literally like sitting rocking there. Like I just felt terrible. I was like aching, like still all this, like it's been, it was going on since 4 a.m. And it was like four in the afternoon by this time. So like I was just feeling just like so bad. And, uh, and I felt bad too because I took his dad and Vinny away from their time, like spending at the beach. And I was just like feeling awful about everything. And like that I ended up there then I finally saw the doctor and she spoke English which was amazing because then I could speak directly with her like Vinny didn't have to do the translation of like how I was feeling it was just nice to um, have her like understand from my point of view so she decided that I should get an IV which I did but then the next step was to go to the room with the IV where Vinny wasn't allowed so it's just me and like a handful of people. I'll insert a picture here of like what I looked like because I think I took a video or a picture or something like that. But I literally was just chilling in the waiting room like alone with this bag like dripping into me like trying to just like clean me out. I was like just get it out of me please because whatever it was it was not okay. I had like some encounters of people trying to speak with me and I was just like <laughs> I, I don't speak Portuguese I'm so sorry like I remember speaking English to them and I was like I'm sorry like I feel so bad I don't I don't I can't like talk with you or anything um, but I remember there was like an older woman a grandma like to the left of me and her and I would just smile at each other and I was like hmm, that's nice <laughs> I was like I'm in pain but like it's nice to smile with you or whatever and then I remember there was a guy that was like I think he drank too much alcohol or something <laughs> while he was getting his IV he was puking it was so gross and I was like Vinny oh my gosh it's like what is going on um and then Vinny was allowed to come back in towards the end. So that probably took like 40 minutes too. So then he came and got me and then we started walking out and I was like, okay, so do I have to like pay anything? And he was like, no, it's free. That's like, that's what happens when you go to a public hospital. And I was like, what? Calma aí. Ah, agora eu entendo a surpresa dela. Nos Estados Unidos não tem hospital público. Tudo você tem que pagar. Então, é por isso que eles quando vão no SUS, 
Ficou louco, gente. Estados Unidos tudo é mano, e tudo é dinheiro, tudo é não sei o que. E eu ainda não sei como é que tem pessoas que querem viver lá. It's free. I'm like, okay, this is probably like the best feeling I've ever had because I like I never experienced this type of feeling ever, which was so nice. And then we were able to go back to the apartment and spend New Year's evening with everybody. I think I had lost like five pounds by the end of the day. Sure. Um, no I think his, Vinny's mom even was like, "You look like skinnier," and I was like, "That's that's <laughs> great. That's great news." Yeah, I think my face was white, like. It was bad, um, but I, I was feeling a lot better uh, after the IV, and I think it was just bad ice that I ate, and everything was well, and the next week I was able to spend the rest of the vacation um, feeling much better, and yeah, that's my story of the time I went to the hospital in Brazil, which was a crazy yet awesome, weird experience, and I'm so grateful for everything that happened and for the people that were supporting me and helping me there during that time and i appreciate them all and um yeah that's pretty much it i don't think i have anything else to say well thanks for watching this video obrigada uh, and i hope you guys have a great day and make sure to subscribe and like <laughs> tchau gente ah pelo menos ela se esforçou né para falar português ou não achei a história muito interessante né Tipo, a, a parte mais interessante foi só quando ela disse, se surpreendeu que era um hospital público. Acho que é só isso. E sobre o hospital público, assim, eu vejo muita gente a falar mal do SUS. Uh, também entendo que é tipo assim, as pessoas queriam um atendimento melhor, mas é tipo assim, quando tem muita gente, é difícil atender bem. Então, só que querer bom atendimento, vão nas clínicas, vão no hospital privado, lá vocês serão atendidos como reis e rainhas. Assim, aqui em Angola tem hospital público, o hospital público são uma porcaria, ninguém confia. Primeiro é que ah, os próprios médicos, oh, também alguns trabalham nas clínicas, alguns têm clínicas, então eles ficam toda hora fazendo tudo para te enviar na clínica. Para você ter que ir na clínica dele, pagar mesmo muito. A análises nos hospitais públicos tem uma cota básica, tá? Normal. O atendimento é péssimo, tipo... Eu sinto que às vezes eles não, não valorizam as pessoas e também olham muito no rosto das pessoas. A discriminação, vamos dizer assim. Yeah. Preconceito também. Tá, 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 tá. Mas anyway, mas anyway, anyway, anyway. Então já tô a começar a ficar cansado, tô a começar a ficar com sono. Tô a gravar isso. Zero horas. Então, uh, fiquem bem. Muito obrigado por este vídeo até aqui. Não esqueça de deixar o like e torne-se um Clayton, caso você ainda não é um Clayton. Claytons são pessoas que estão chitando aqui nesse canal. E tchauzinho.